All right, so we're in a bit of a pickle right now with this whole plague that's going on in our society. What that means though, is that there's a lot of room for some good, useful inventions. Maybe a hands-free soap dispenser or a door that opens automatically so you don't have to touch it. Those are all absolutely lame. What's with all this talk of economic depression? The economy should just deal with its own problems the same way I do, ignoring them until they go away. Boo hoo, I'm the economy, nobody loves me, I'm so sad. Yeah, get over yourself. What I really need now is a cure to my boredom. Not that I would have gone outside anyway, but now that I don't have the option, it sounds kind of nice. The problem though is that Amazon's taking up to a week to deliver, so I'm at the mercy of the useless shit that's in my house. Luckily, I found this nifty pair of scissors lying around. I don't know if you guys like doing this, but I like cutting my vegetables with scissors. The problem is my small boyish hands can only cut so much before I get tired and give up. To solve this, I'm going to motorize the scissors so it cures me of having to do any actual work. Okay, I see these exist on Amazon, but with this whole economic depression thing going on, I'm surprised if I can even afford food this month. Measure the scissors, model all the parts on Fusion 360. Export them to a model that the printer can understand. Realize that the icy fingers of death are coming for us all as I wait five goddamn hours for these parts to print. Take a time lapse that cut short because I don't know how to use a camera. Now we have the pieces. Use a shit ton of hot glue so this doesn't fall apart. Put this rotating thing on, slap some hot glue on there. Thank lord Jesus I don't have to do any of the programming for this because that means I would have to sit in my computer until 5am figuring out why all this shit doesn't work and I hate my life. Drill some more holes because I measured everything incorrectly. Connect it together. Holy shit it actually works. I call them the Giga Chad scissors. I have to add that I made two of them because this one wasn't strong enough and so I made this one. Have you too felt insecure about your fingers and hope that someday some godforsaken accident rids you of those inconveniences? So I have this assortment of vegetables in front of me. You now that's what kids used to call me in high school. I added this little red button here which is used to activate the motor. All you have to do is plug it in and you're good to go. Can I even cut something? Probably not. Okay, I'm gonna start off with a piece of lettuce. I haven't actually used this before and I'm kind of worried. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, okay, that works. I was able to cut through the lettuce quite easily, so now I'm gonna try a piece of, uh, I think it's called asparagus. So, Giga Chat Pod 1, vegetables 0. Okay, it doesn't seem like it's very effective against celery. Um, Giga chat on one, celery zero. There we go. What if you have some important tax documents that you don't really feel like paying? My fragile ego is deteriorating as we speak. Why get yourself some beta incel scissors when you can get yourself some giga chad scissors? For the reasonable price of, please take these away from me, I don't want them anymore. Giga chad scissors, because we're all gonna die anyway. Now I can enjoy my salad without any of that pesky manual labor. 